Hello guys, welcome back. Many viewers of my last video were asking me how the FreeSky Randancy function works. And now in this video I'm going to show you how to use two or more FreeSky receivers at the same time. First of all, to make sure you get the basics about the FreeSky Redundancy function, take a look at my channel. I have already made a video about it. Here I have used the external R9M module with the R9 mini receiver and the internal module with the XM Plus receiver at the same time. Next you should also watch my All You Need To Know video about the new FreeSky transmitters and the new access protocol. Here you can get all information about how to flash, register and bind a FreeSky receiver. And now we are getting to my new long range quad. On this quad I have installed two FreeSky R9 mini receivers. One in the front that is connected to the SBUS in of the master R9 mini receiver which is placed under the 3D printed TPU antenna mount. For using more FreeSky receivers at the same time, you need a receiver that supports the redundancy function like the R9 Mini. Connect the SBUS out to the SBUS in of your flight controller. You also need to connect it to the ground and 5 volts output. And now you need a second receiver. Connect the SBUS out to the SBUS in of your first receiver. And you also need to connect it to your 5 volts power supply. And if you want, you can even use three receivers at the same time. In the meantime, I have switched on my Tyrannus X9D Plus 2019 to show you how to set up your radio. I'm assuming you have already seen my videos about how to register and bind an access receiver. So I do not intend to show it once again in detail. First you have to press the bind button of one of your receivers while you plug the battery in. And then you can register your first receiver. Once your receiver is registered, unplug the battery and repeat this step with your second receiver. After that select bind for receiver number 1 in your Tyrannus and plug in your battery. Then your Tyrannus offers you both registered receivers for binding. Then you have to repeat the step with receiver number 2. In the following I will arm my quad to show you how the redundancy function keeps your quad in the air even when one receiver fails. For this I am powering my quad. And as you can see the green LEDs on both receivers are indicating the connection between my radio and the receivers. Now I'm switching my Tyrannus into the range mode to decrease the output power level for causing a failsafe. I'm also moving my Tyrannus to another room in my house. And now I'm removing the antenna of my master R9 mini receiver. And as you can see the red LED indicates a failsafe on this receiver. But the second receiver is still connected with my radio and my quad doesn't go into the failsafe mode. Last, I'm going to show you how to use the redundancy function with the old D16 protocol. Here we cannot register a receiver and we cannot select a receiver 1, 2 and 3. We only need to bind the first receiver while powering it and pressing its bind button. Then we need to repeat the step with the second receiver. That's it. How do you like the FreeSky redundancy function? Tell me your thoughts in the comments below. Thank you for watching and see you next time.